Hey everybody, Todd McFarland here. Let's show you what we do during the day, how I keep busy during my days. Uh, we're, we're working on issue 265 of Spawn. So let me just show you a couple of things that I do during the day. So here's, here's sort of what I get uh, from Eric Larson's, the equivalent of the pencils. We darken them up, make them a little bit dark. Uh, um, but I, after, afterwards I go in here, I look at this thing and I go, ah, it's supposed to be nighttime. I think it needs to be a little bit moodier, so I want to give a little bit more darkness down here, maybe even come in here, add some clouds, maybe do a little bit more cross hatching and some shadows in here. So when we get all that said and done to make it just a little bit more moodier, this is what we get. Uh, I can make that a little bit bigger so it matches. Uh, but as you can see, if I click between these two, there it is sort of clean. It looks a little bit like a daytime scene to me, uh, even if you look at his face. You're going to see a lot more shadows I put on the face. Um, and then here, if we go in really close, you're going to be able to see then, you know, I just do all this sort of silly noodling down here. You know, I, I do all this sort of goofy noodling down in here. Um, and then I get in here and I start doing some silly stuff in the cape here. But, but the overall thing is I'm trying to accomplish is does this now look... A little bit more like and get dark now if I do some dark clouds in here and we color it with gray right and all of a sudden we color this in gray and then we get down here we do some nice color up here and uh, we're gonna be able to convince you this is nighttime um, here's another page from the same issue it's gonna be kind of cool I'll go a little bit smaller I can get it on the screen here this is uh, one of the guest superhero it's actually a female superhero and then here's the bad guy down here, right? And then we've got all these sort of lines here. Uh, as you can see, we get a little bit closer. We just try to get a little bit of detail, like this is his cow up in here. Again, we go and draw in lines just to fill it all up, you know, just do some goofy lines just to make it look a little more detailed. And then we get into all the debris. I still got to go and finish some of the arm up over here. We go over here. I still need to add some detail into the arm because he's sort of punching to the left. You can see if I go a little bit smaller, here's the bad guy, here's his leg, here's his back leg, and here's his head, and then here he is punching the wall as the wall explodes. Then you got this character called the ant is jumping up and down, uh, and they're in some kind of, it looks like sewer, uh, and then you've got all the details behind it. So that if you get to this level, it's pretty much pretty complicated. Now if we get to some of the other pages that aren't quite as sexy as all those, then we just get some sort of basic design. But the problem with some of this stuff is you get a little bit closer is that it, to me it falls apart just a little bit as we get a little bit bigger here. So what will happen is, is I'll take this if I treat it like it's pencils and then I'll then start to do the quote unquote inking uh, as we get in here. So again, you know, so some of you have been following some of the sort of drawing lessons I've been given. You know, I'll try to make the eye a little bit blacker, give it a little bit of highlight in here, maybe cut something up in here. And then even, you know, the one thing about drawing is everything's a, a weight. So you can see here, all these lines are about the same weight because that's just how a pencil sort of works and how Eric Larson uh, in this particular case gives it to me. So it's my job then to start adding some of the weight to it right sometimes some of the pencils that do it sometimes it's the job of of the inkers for us to come in here and do it uh and then if i want i can you know even add some veins into the eyes uh, right here and again i'm just trying to build on what's already there uh and make it seem a little bit more believable and then when i get into places like here let's say these lines are indicating a little bit of a shadow on the nose then what i'll do at times is i'll go in there I'll just white it out because I think I need to make those lines just a little bit thinner um, I'll come in a little bit bigger here I pull back the opacity so I can see it a little bit you know like a true pencil at that point and then I can go in there and I can get just a little bit more subtle with it than what Eric had there maybe even add and a couple extra extra lines up in here build upon what he has over here mix it up here so now by the time I I do some of this it just changes the dynamics just a little bit of what that nose was going to look like uh, as we're building it and then you'll see once I 
bring it a little bit smaller here and I get rid of no, right there now it's a hundred percent I got rid of the sort of the tracing paper look and now I can start to go on here and start to build this up just a little bit more uh, the other thing too is that once I get in tight and I do all my detail then eventually I'll pull it back to this scale and then I, I, I can find some of the things that I might have missed when I was too close up so I go ah, you know what I think I need a little bit more shadow here I can build up some of the wrinkles up in here maybe you know this, here's the guy's eyebrow up in here I need to build up the guy's eyebrow just a little bit more and so what you'll see is that as I keep doing this more and more and more and I'm just beginning it I'll probably spend you know an hour you know half an hour just on this panel just trying to build it up just a little bit even in the teeth area giving it shadows right cutting up in here maybe cut a line up in here filling these in here and once we get all of this uh, let's put a couple extra lines here dope because this guy's kind of scared of what's happening right now and I'll do it on the other side the hair if you look up here in the hair you know it's time to start building the hair up just a little bit all right so we'll build up the hair so it just looks like there's a little bit more make some of the lines a little bit darker so it just feels like there's a little bit of shadow up in here and then what will happen is that you'll see and I'll turn it on this everything I've been doing is on a separate layer and so what I can do now is uh, I can cut some whites in here I can cut some whites down in here but now watch watch this page here if we get if we get a little bit close to this some of the stuff that we did you can see just in the five minutes we've been talking I've been able to sort of make that kind of alteration on it and then I'll be able to do that literally on every single one of these pages here on every one of these panels and just beef it up because again Eric's doing a great job of giving me the basics of it but as you see when you start getting a little bit bigger it's a little bit simplified so it's my job now to finish the mouth and do something really cool with the eyes and something cool with the hair and make it just a little bit tighter and a little more finished maybe even add some shadows to it so that's what we do some days when all we do is for 10 hours is ink so hopefully some of that was semi-interesting to you we'll be back again soon thanks for joining me be good